All right, five ways to improve your sleep with the sleep expert, Sean Stevenson, who's the host of the Model Health Show in iTunes podcasting world. Now, what's the number one way to improve your sleep? We're gonna do five, Sean. All right, number one way is uh, screen curfew. Give yourself a screen curfew. And so what does that mean? Well, the uh, Rizzler Polytechnic proved that two hours of iPad use before bed is enough to suppress your melatonin secretion, okay? Which sucks, melatonin helps you get deep anabolic sleep. So if you're on the screen right before you go to bed, chances are you're not gonna produce melatonin. You can, you can go to sleep, but you're gonna wake up tired. So give yourself a little curfew and get to, get off the device maybe 90 minutes before your bed or wear some of Jane's new glasses coming out to block out blue light. Yeah, I got, a, number one. I got a pair of blue blocking glasses. You wear these things. I wish I had a pair on me now uh, called Swanix. I'll, I'll put a little link down below here where you can find them, but they block blue light and the blue light from the screen that you're watching this on right now is keeping you up at night time. So you want to wear blue blocking glasses or just switch off electronics an hour, an hour and a half before you go to sleep. All right, tip number two, Sean. And by the way, we're at the podcast movement here in Fort Worth, Texas, which are all these people behind. So make sure you check out Sean's podcast in iTunes, The Model Health Show. Uh, number two, Sean. Tip number two is to get some sunlight. So funny thing is it might be counterintuitive that getting more sun can help you sleep better at night. But this is going to help to set your circadian timing system, which is basically your body's hormone system. And guys don't really get that we have hormone cycles. Women get it, but we have them too. And so getting sunlight in the early part of the day will help you sleep better at night. So, so wait, when we wake up in the morning then, we should literally go outside in the first, say, 10 minutes. Yeah. To, to, so the sun hits our skin, is That's that right? right. So yeah. the circadian rhythm kicks in, your body says, oh, okay, it's daytime, which then makes it easier for you to fall asleep at nighttime. Is Precisely. that how it works? Precisely. I love it. All right, tip number three on tip how to three, sleep better. Tip number three, Appalachian State University did a study, three groups of exercisers. Group A exercised at 7 a.m., group B exercised at 1 p.m., group C exercised at 7 p.m. The 7 a.m. group got 75% more deep sleep than the other group, which is more anabolic sleep. So get some exercise in the in the morning. Wow, that's, that's amazing. That's, three. that's incredible. So uh, if you want to sleep better at night, sleep first, uh, sorry, work out and exercise first thing in the morning. Little tip that I do, I, I leave my gym gear at the foot of my bed when I go to sleep at night. So when I wake up in the morning, I see the, the gym clothes and I just automatically um, put them on because there's that visual cue. James, you got to work out. James, you got to exercise. So that's the first thing I do. That way, it makes it a lot harder to to skip the exercise. Exactly. All right. So first thing in the morning, exercise will help you sleep better at night. Tip number four, Sean. Tip number four is have an orgasm. All right. That is your job. I'm in. Put me in, coach. <laughs> I'm in right now. So when you have an orgasm, you're having a cocktail of chemicals released: prolactin, oxytocin. Prolactin is a big one. Now here's the thing. Studies show that men produce four times more prolactin when they have a partner, when they actually have an orgasm along with a partner than by yourself. So by yourself it will work, but chances are you might want to order pizza or have some cereal. But having an <laughs> orgasm with a partner will help you sleep better at night. All That's right, so so watching porn is not going to be as effective as if you actually got a real person. Unless you're on the screen, unless you're watching it with the, uh, you know, the glasses on. Which That's is, right. And just take a picture of that whole situation. Yeah, we don't want to do that. All right. Uh, tip number five, just a drum roll before tip number five. Sean Stephen is the author of a great book called Sleep Smarter. Sleep Smarter, all right? He's the author of that book. Check it out on uh, where do we find it? You go to Amazon.com or go to SleepSmarterBook.com. Okay, here is the fifth tip now on how to sleep better. Go for it, right. Sean. Fifth tip is keep it cool. So research indicates that the perfect temperature, and by the way, so, and you, we've all had this experience of being hot and kind of sweaty and it being uncomfortable and not getting good sleep. So it's clinically proven to get you in more anabolic, uh, non-rim sleep if you're cooler. And here's the ideal range. It's gonna sound a little frosty, but between 62 and 68 degrees. Wow. So some people are like, nah, I'm gonna die. But it's really your extremity. So wear a pair of nice warm socks, but keep it cooler and it's gonna help you to get more anabolic sleep. So what happens if you live in a hot climate, like I do in California and Los Angeles, you live in LA as well, you have to have air conditioning to keep it cool? Is that kind of what we're doing in summer? It depends on, again, it depends on where you live. I'm actually in the Midwest right now. Yeah. I was looking for a place in San Diego, long story. But, um, you know, it depends on where you live. You know, the places that are tend to be hotter, tend to have air conditioning, you can, you can regulate stuff a little bit more, but do the best you can to cool off. 
Really simple as that. All right, so what you're gonna do is keep cool. Make sure you're cool. All right, so there you go. Five great tips on how to sleep better from Sean Stevenson. Make sure you check out his podcast, The Model Health Show in iTunes. Check out my podcast, The James Swanick Show on iTunes. And uh, check out his book, Sleep Smarter on Amazon. That was awesome, Sean. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. It's my pleasure, mate. Anytime. Make sure you share this video with someone who cannot sleep very well right now. All right, send it to them. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.